5G and edge computing bring with them tremendous promise, but many of the technologies are difficult to understand. With this in mind, Arna Networks brings you a series of tech talks in which we will interview our subject matter experts who will explain these technologies in easy to understand terms. Hi, Yogendra. How are you? I'm good, Parami. How about you? Yeah, I'm doing good too. Uh, so, Yogendra, I was uh, reading a lot about network slicing and came across this term, you know, NSSMF. So, can you explain what is NSSMF and uh, maybe like why is it, uh, what is the necessity of NSSMF? NSSMF uh, stands for Network Slice Subnet Management Function. It is also another management function in the network slicing architecture and uh, uh, it has an important role to play for respective domains of the 5G, uh, which can be a you know, co-network or it can be a RAN network or it can be a transport network. For each of these domains, there has to be a respective NSSMF who would be managing the network slice subnet instance. And these instances are basically uh, connected to a NSMF management function on the north northbound of it. Uh, interestingly, uh, your NSSMF when it manages the uh, NSSI, they, those can be your, um, you know, it can be an external uh, physical device, a PNF device, or it can be a, a cloud native function. So NSSMF uh, has to you know play an important role in terms of uh, managing the NSSI. Okay. Okay. So what is NSSI? NSSI stands for Network Slice Subnet Instance. Okay. An okay. Instance of the, an instance of the network slice at the network function level. Network function level. Got it. Got it. So that was a nice explanation. So you're going to like, uh, you know, like uh, how does this NS, NSSMF fit into, you know, the slicing management uh, thing? Okay. Uh, so, so NSSMF uh, can think of in the overall architecture. It's the last entry point. Uh, towards your uh, network function. So it, it communicates on the northbound to NSMF, which is responsible to primarily you know, provide the network slice characteristics for the respective domain, right? And in the southbound, it talks to the physical network function or it could be cloud native uh, network function, which of which can be of the respective domain, like, like I was mentioning, like core network or transport network or uh, the RAN network. So RAN network itself, you, you know, right? So there are three components, uh, which is your radio unit. It could be a distributed unit and it could be a central unit, CU, right? So all the three segregated, uh, disaggregated uh, network, uh, of network functions are there. Right? So all of them can be falling under the category of the RAN. Uh, got it. Uh, so that was a very nice, you know, detailed explanation. So Yogendra, like, you know, like, is there an open source implementation also available for NSSMF? Yeah, uh, and the most importantly, Elephant has done a couple of, you know, demos on it. And ONAP is one of, our, one of the open source implementation where NSSMF is demonstrating uh, um, your RAN demonstrating core network and also demonstrating uh, transport network. So yeah, ONAP is the right uh, reference implementation to look at. Great, great. Uh, so thank you so much, Yogendra, for the nice explanation. This yeah, was thank you. Good. No problem. Thank you.